Good morning, YouTube. Hey, everyone out there in survival land. How you doing? Oh, they're frisky. Oh, look at that. Look at them go. Now, these things ignite really quick. See how quick I just barely touched that. Hey, YouTube. Peter Bergaz coming at you. How you doing out there? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. It's a nice day here in Michigan. It's 38 degrees. And I cannot believe that between Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to get six inches of snow with how warm it is today. I cannot believe that yet another winter storm is on its way. And, uh, you know, we've been getting pounded by snow lately, especially people in the Ohio Valley and things like that of that nature, just getting pounded by snow. And, you know, in a couple of days, we're going to get pounded again. So, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're digging out, because it looks like we're going to dig out some more. But anyway, I want to get on to today's video. Uh, again, you know, the taxpayers are left holding the bag. First link underneath is going to be Senators raise alarm over another possible sale of a taxpayer-backed firm to the Chinese. That's right. China is going to buy another U.S. company, and this company, American company, received a bailout when all the big bailouts were happening uh, when Obama first got into uh, office. And this company took a bailout from the uh, taxpayers, and now they're not making it. They're, they're going under, and that's not a surprise with the way the economy is going. Everything is terrible right now. And, uh, you know, China is buying up everything left and right. And for those of you who can't see the truth, for those of you who can't see what's really going on, I strongly urge you to go out and buy some silver, go out and buy some gold. Um, this can't go on forever. It can't. We can't just keep on printing money and expect things to change. Um, you know, we're seeing these companies one after another after another, either building parts in China or other parts of the world or just being sold to China directly, much like this company is going to be doing. The link will be underneath. Um, you can check that out. And then, you know, just moving on forward here, um, a lot of people really didn't talk about this, at least I didn't hear anything about it, and that was the G20 meeting in Moscow. And they were talking about uh, the currency war and, and the world economy. Well, you know, the world economy is not doing well at all. I mean, there's, there's not very many countries, if any countries at all, that are, are moving in a forward positive direction. And yet they, they, they keep on talking about how, you know, there's not a currency war and, you know, we got to make some cuts to make the economy grow and boost the economy, but you know there'll be two links underneath on this story here. Check those out. You know, it just it's 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 inevitable. Just the way the system is set up, it's set up to fail. Okay, us the 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 so-called 99 percenters. You know, we're left holding the bag every time, and 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 I I don't know why most of the people I've talked to can't see that. That you know. Is there, I guess it's just too much dancing with the stars, too much American Idol, too much of the voice. You know, all these silly TV shows that just rot your brain. I myself, I don't watch TV unless, you know, there might be a hockey game on or something. You know, every once in a while you got to take the blue pill and just kind of get back into relax mode and just kind of take a minute to catch your breath and just kind of leave the busyness away. But, you know... Getting to the G20 meeting, like I said, you know, I, I didn't hear a lot about it. And usually there's a lot of videos that, that talk about the G20 meetings because it is, you know, a global conference. And we all know what global means. It means, uh, you know, one world government eventually. But we are fighting the New World Order and the Illuminati. But moving on, um, you know, uh, a lot of people are talking about the, the sequestration. And, you know, Obama is very concerned about that he's very concerned about you know the cuts that are coming up uh you know he says he has an open door policy but again the 99 percenters are going to be the ones left holding the bag okay these cuts never affect the one percent and it, they never really seem to affect the rich even though obama says oh we're taking more money from the rich the, the overall fact of the matter is is that there's more people on unemployment now than ever before in american history and even though they raise taxes on one percent or even all of people, overall there is there is less gross money coming into the government than there was, say, 15, 20 years ago, because of the amount that so many more people people were working back then as to people working now. 
And even though we're paying more tax than we did 15, 20 years ago, the ratio between people working and not working is what's creating that loss of money. Even though the people who are working now are getting taxed more than 15, 20 years ago, the overall amount of people working is less. So therefore, there's less money going into the government. It's, it's not hard to figure out. It's all part of the plan. Nothing is by chance. Everything has a plan, and, and this is just part of the plan. And again, talking about the one percenters, here's proof. Check this link out. Even though Facebook reported a $1.1 billion pre-tax profit from the U.S. operations in 2012, it will probably pay zero, zero federal and state taxes and, and even receive a, a federal tax refund of about $429 million as a company. And this is according to a February 14th statement from the Citizens for Tax Justice Group. That link is underneath. See what I'm talking about? Obama keeps saying, oh, the one percenters are paying so much more tax. But the issue is, is that they're not. They're really not paying more tax. Check out this link. I'm sure you'll be infuriated after you check it out. It's just unbelievable. Now, again, talking about the one percent. Okay, here we go. Obama says they're paying more, more, more taxes. Again, it's a falsehood. Another link. Out of Washington, this, this article. Incomes rose more than 11% for the top 1% of earners during the economic recovery. But, for everybody else, according to this data, those people lost money at the percentage rate of 0.4%, okay? So the 1%, the their income increased by 11%. The 99%, their income decreased by 0.4%. I got two links underneath, link into two, two different stories that explain this better. Check it out. Again, Obama keeps saying the one percenters are being taxed more. I, I disagree because the one percenters are making more money. There's proof in the pudding right there. Check it out. Okay? Here, here's another one, okay? For the first time since the New Deal, a majority of Americans are headed toward a retirement in which they will be financially worse off than their own parents. That includes me, okay? Uh, I'm in my mid-40s, just four years ago, I lost everything but my car, okay? I, I did, lost everything but my car. That's all part of the plan. It's all part of the overall plan. For those of you who understand this, I'm preaching to the choir. For those of you who don't understand this, I suggest that you start doing some research and figure out what it is exactly that I'm talking about because you have to understand this is all part of the plan. Again, moving on. Uh, this was really crazy, and, you know, again, Uncle Joe Biden says that, uh, you know, women should rely on other means of self-defense, but if you have to, use a 12-gauge, not an AR-15. Now, I really want you to check out this link, because this is really crazy, okay? He had everything from urinating on people to, you know, spitting in their face and all this other stuff, which we already know, but, I mean, outside of the urinating on people, but you know, he gave some ridiculous reasons as to how you could defend yourself outside of using a gun. Check out this link for sure. And again, there was a lot of uproar for uh, the, the letargets.com. Um, again, they had the human targets, you know, the pregnant ladies, the children, the uh, senior citizens, this and that. But you know what? I still went to their website to check it out anyway. And, um, you know, they still, have, they still have depictions of these people, okay? They're not quite as blatant as the other ones were. And, um, uh, but they're still there. I mean, they still sell these targets. So, I mean, you know, it's kind of hard to decipher. Go ahead, check out the link to the website. Let me know what you think. And then, last but not least, here is a video that is a must-see. It's by Gerald Salente, Trends in the News. 
the video I do believe is called The Greatest Robbery. The Greatest Robbery. It was a fantastic video. Uh, it came out on uh, February 19th, 2013. I suggest that you watch the video at the end. It'll be the last link. Um, Gerald makes some excellent videos. He, he does a lot of great financial work. So I really want to encourage you guys to check out Gerald Slefty. If you're not subbed to his channel, you may want to think about doing so. Um, he's a fantastic person, very phenomenal, very educated in the financial markets. And he tells you the truth, unlike the government. So, guys, girls, let's have a great week. I hope everything goes well for you. We'll see you on the flip side. Take care. Buy some silver.